Hi, it's Aw uh, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today is a one year with my puppy update. I'm so excited. So this little one is one years old right now. She's munching on uh, just a treat that I gave her. I'm not sure how long she's gonna stay, but um, let's see if she does. <laughs> I guess she didn't want to stay. <laughs> She is now one years old, but she turned one in November uh, the 23rd. That's her birthday. <laughs> She's staring at me from the bottom of the bed. I don't know what, what her deal is. Um, she will come up if she wants to, but... Um, I am doing this video because it's a year since I had her. Um, I'm filming this a little bit before, but uh, I basically had her the last weekend of January uh, last year. And I wanted to do like a little update on her because I haven't done one in a really long time. But um, if you're new to my channel, she is Skyla. She is a Sheltie or a Shetland Sheepdog and she is one year old and I live in Switzerland and I got her from a local breeder so I don't remember exactly when her last update was but um, I periodically gave some updates on my vlogs we had a lot of health issues uh, with her. She has a lot of issues, um, but we finally figured out what it was. Um, and she has been diagnosed this summer with hypothyroidy, which means that her thyroid doesn't produce enough hormones. And it basically made her whole body shut down. So her digestive tract wasn't working and her behavioral issues were through the roof. Um, she was scared of things like trying to put out, um, like close up blinds and opening a window and just like about everything. And we first thought that my education wasn't good enough and that was why we had so much issues so we contacted um, a trainer and she came to our house assessed her and what we learned was that she was actually very well trained and very well behaved and she said that's really common behaviors for a dog who has thyroid issues so we got her checked out she sees a specialist um, a vet that specializes in thyroid problems and she is on uh, a few different medication to try and control that um, and it it was going better three days after starting the treatment she was putty trained um, which was something that we had a lot of problem with at nine months she wasn't using the bathroom like bathroom outside or anything like that so it was really hard for my family and I and especially because I am disabled and I am chronically ill and I wanted to train her as a service dog um, as a service alert dog especially for migraines and paralysis attack I have a condition known as FND, which causes random paralysis attack. And you may have noticed that I'm not using my left arm, and that's because it's paralyzed. Both of my legs are as well. Um, so we thought that she was gonna help me, unfortunately, because we had so much issues with her training. It didn't go as planned. It is the plan for this year, though, now that she is medicated and doing a lot better. But basically that was a lot <laughs> and she had her like period a little bit later and she 
she's gonna have them pretty soon actually February if I'm correct so she is soon gonna be um, fixed because with all of her issues it is best to have her not have to um, have um, kids <laughs> I wanted to say kids it's not kids but like to have babies of her own so that's the decision that we took and that's for the, her future um, other than that she's been really she's really well behaved we had a couple issues with her being car sick, but I actually think it's stress rather than uh, actually being car sick. Um, so we used to have to figure that one out. And yeah, that's kind of like the, the big picture and mostly the issues that we had with her. Uh, which doesn't mean that we don't love her unconditionally. Um, but uh, other than that, um, she has recently been uh, more in my room, as you saw, she was on my bed, which was something that she didn't used to do when she was around that area when we diagnosed her, because I went to the hospital for two weeks, and after that, she refused to come near my room. We never understood why, um, but that's what happened. And she has recently, uh, and by recently, I mean the last couple days, friends, uh, since the new, new year, she slept once with me at night, which we allow her on the bed. Yes, it's not the best, but that's what works for us. Um, but uh, she's been sleeping with uh, my parents in uh, their room, and it's no, they're, they're not really happy about it and we all are trying as hard as we can to get her back into this room uh, which is mine and we've been slowly uh, trying to help her with all of her fears which takes a long time um, because it's built habits at some point when she is scared of something she it's, it becomes a habit so we have to have her unlearn all of those behaviors in order to heal. Um, we are also waiting to go back and see her family soon, hopefully, um, because we haven't seen them in quite a while. and. Uh, we wanted to see how her parents are doing and all of that um, So hopefully we will be able to go there soon again And for grooming because I know that that's like a big thing with uh, Sheltie um, She has been doing better when she was uh, smaller it was a big problem because she didn't have any patience um, but as she's been growing, it's been uh, growing a lot better. Um, I've been able to groom her a lot more. She still doesn't like bath, that hasn't changed. Um, but thankfully it's not a breed that needs to be bathed a lot as long as it's brushed regularly. So that's, um, that's really good. We also found uh, the food that she likes, so we tried a bunch of options and we found uh, the Farmina brand. Um, they offer a variety of um, things, but they have uh, the one, I think they are called digestion or something like that. But basically we finally found the foods that she actually enjoys and like is so excited to eat every day. Um, so it is going a lot. She's eating a lot. She's actually 8.6 kilos right now, which a uh, female Sheltie is between 7 and 10. So she's um, in the right um, scale, so that's really good. She went down quite a lot actually when she was sick, and now she's finally gaining all this weight back and finally enjoying eating again because around her diagnosis she was really sick and 
because of that she wasn't eating she was actually refusing totally to eat and she lost a lot of weight and when we figure out um, figured out all of her meds we also tried a couple different um, brands of food and we found what works so that's really good I'm trying to think about what I can talk about I don't remember the subject I touched on um, the last time I think I talked about like the walks and stuff um, she is really an angel on walks she has this really funny thing that when she sees a dog that she knows in front of her, she lays down and she waits for them to come. It's so cute. I absolutely love when she does that. It's the cutest thing ever. Um, as I said, she's fully potty trained now and we are slowly working on getting her to walk off leash. It is quite hard. We had a lot of issues with that in the past uh, where we would um, unleash her and she would not come um, and go eat whatever she could find and it was really bad to the point that we had to stop completely and we are slowly building back to that um, but we tried everything, all the treats that she likes, she doesn't come for them. Um, her recall is good, um, but she's not interested in anything else than what's around. We tried cheese, like all of those really high violet treats and it doesn't really work out well. that well. So we don't really know um, for that. But we finally figured out a method which is just using a long line. She, so she has like five meters of lead before uh, she's like too far. And just to let go of it so if we need to catch her we can still step on the leash if needed. So she's free but she doesn't have one total freedom and she, can, she just can't run and run. So that's, that's okay, um, but I think I kind of said it all, uh, there's a little bit less to say than when she was a little puppy since when I first started this update she was teething at all of that, so that, that's not really the case anymore. She's sleeping in front of my door, it's so it's super cute. Also, something I didn't say is that she's actually trying in French, my, my language is French. So, um, if, if in this video I think I did talk to her in English, that's probably why she didn't do it. I tried English with her, she knew a couple commands, but, um, that's around the time that she got really sick, so we kind of forgot about <laughs> using English. Um, but oh, something I didn't talk about is her commands. So we are slowly training a couple things that are going to be useful to me. One is to retrieve things. Um, I am working on socks. Um, once she stops stealing them in my brother's room when they're on the floor. Second, so if I need help, I can just ask her to grab things. Uh, so I started with like uh, a fold up sock um, that is really big so she cannot swallow it or anything, you know, risk. And I just present it to her and she needs to put her mouth on it. That's the first step, that's where we are. I'm slowly training her to target to target a crunchy if I have it on my wrist and to alert twice. So it's gonna be her alert command if I ever am able to train her as a service dog or as an alert dog, even if it's not an official thing. But at least if I can just train her to alert, that's what I want her to do. And she's been really doing well with that. 
something kind of strange that I'm trying to teach her is to lick on command. I know that's not really typical, but um, basically I have paralysis attacks which can range between two to the whole day, two hours to a full day, and I need help to regain movement. And basically I am trying to train to lick um, wherever I'm paralyzed, so usually it's full arm, um, so I'm gonna take an example of this. So to have my hand like this and have her lick to help uh, my fingers un unbend and gain movement again because usually it's kind of fist and stiff. So that's um, something we've been working on slowly. Um, but because I'm usually in school, uh, it usually takes a little bit more time. Um, but we take our time, I don't have any specific deadline for which she needs to be trained. I'm just doing it at our own pace and um, it's, been, it's been doing well. She's a dog that loves learning so it's, it's going really well. Um, one of our favorite tricks to, um, to do with her is high five. She's really good at this one. If she wasn't sleeping right now, I would have her come here and do it because it's absolutely hilarious. She does one paw, two paw, and if we go up, she does bow. She also knows uh, gift paw and put paw on top of the hand. Um, just a variation. I've also been training her to, if I'm seated on my uh, in my wheelchair, to just um, tap on my legs and have her come up. So not uh, not um, jumping on me, just putting both of her paws to be at my height. Um, so if I need to put her collar on or anything like that, that may be easier. Uh, but overall, I would say that she's making uh, a lot of progress. Hi, this is a little update from this video um, since I recorded it we had some updates I don't remember if I mentioned it when I uh, first recorded it but um, she had a lot of GI issues especially diarrhea and like throwing up all the time and we had to go to the vet um, and this week her blood work came back and it did not came back good at all. <laughs> it's actually really, really bad. Um, she has acid, folic acid? I don't know, I'm gonna put it on the screen. I don't know how it's called, but basically it means that her intestines are not working properly and she has to go in to get an ultrasound done of her entire GI tract and I was really hoping that they would find nothing and that she just had like a virus or something but it's not the case and it's actually serious so it's scary for everyone um, but I really wanted to give that update at the end of the video just so everyone is um, on board with the situation and also because I wanted this update to be realistic um, just because I feel like a lot of the time it is romanticized to have dog for good reason but it's not always the case and I feel like it was a good thing to really like give the whole situation since it's something new that we never thought about before and obviously you can follow my vlogs um, I will probably leave an update uh, in my vlogs I don't know when because we don't have an appointment yet for uh, for the testing so I don't know how all of this is gonna go but I will definitely update you guys and I will let you go at the, at the end of this video I wanted her to be here for the outro, but she's sleeping, so I'm gonna let her uh, live her life. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. 
if you want to see more from me then don't forget to subscribe to my subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one bye